you have an electric smoker and your GFI circuit keeps tripping when the smoker comes on, it is most likely your heating element that's causing the problem. I did a video on this topic four years ago showing how easy it is to actually replace that. And well, here I am again, I've got to do it because now my smoker, a master built Sportsman Elite, keeps tripping the GFI every time it comes on. I went ahead this time around, quickly ordered the replacement element from Amazon. I'll put a link to the last video I did up top or in the description box to show you the uh, events around that. And in that case, I ordered the replacement from a place in Denver, Colorado called Pro Appliance Parts. It worked out great. I had to go to Amazon this time around though because I needed the one day delivery. And lo and behold, they had the exact element. Now this particular one is a 1200 watt unit. My master built's a 40 inch cabinet. If you've got the smaller one, they also make an 800 watt unit. So you wanna make sure you pick out the right one. But in the kit comes with the little jumper wires you need, the insulators, here and here, and of, course, and of course the heating element itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the old one in there. We're gonna turn the smoker around and within 10 minutes, probably take the old one out, put the new one in, and we should be up and running. So let me uh, grab the camera, show you some of the efforts here, and we'll get going. There's the old unit. And what happened is right there where it goes back into the firewall, basically it kind of corroded and there's small holes, pinholes in the uh, outer heating element itself. And through that, it raises the resistance, maybe lets moisture in. It will ultimately cause your ground fault interrupter to trip. So we got to take care of that. Here's the back panel removed where the heating element basically screws through. You can see three wires there. The two orange ones go to the heating element itself and that third one's uh, ground. You can see they're pretty corroded and pretty short. So you gotta be careful with this. I'll clean them up a bit before I put the new jumpers on, but I wanted to show you that. Here's all the pieces that came out. And I have to say with all this stuff, unfortunately, it's cheap. The plastic wire nuts basically melted, pretty much disintegrated. Those jumpers just totally corroded out. The heating element itself, the problem was right up here and over here has little tiny pits in it. And so with that breach becomes the opportunity of higher resistance causing the ground fault to, to trip. So all I'm gonna do now is put the new heating element in reattach these wires, make sure everything's buttoned up right, and we'll give it a test. Here it is with everything installed. Gotta tell you, since I've reworked this one a couple times, my wires are so short, it's really hard to, to work with. I gotta say, next time my heating element burns out, I've gotta just replace the smoker. But we'll see, that could be another four or five years. Let me take it to the front. I have it turned on right now, testing it. And we'll see what's happening. So you can see it's heating right now. No problem with the GFI. Let's open up the door and take a peek. There is the new heating element. I can feel the heat and smell it burning off the initial oil. So that's cool. So the last thing I have to do is take these parts. This is the guard and the wood tray and the feeder tube and install them. And that'll be that. And that's a piece of cake because look, it's simply three screws that go in from the outside. So I'll do that and I'll show it to you. But for right now, I'm feeling super good. We'll be ready for the barbecue this weekend. Well, here she is all put back together. Now, that was a little more difficult than my last time. And again, 
the video for the last episode doing the same exact thing. I'll put it up in the link here or down there. And you can watch it. What made it more challenging this time is that there's further degradation of all the wires and the metal and everything else. I'm guessing this smoker's maybe close to 10 years now. And so it's had a good life. I use it all the time. But it goes to show you, if you take a little bit of initiative, do a little bit of research, you yourself can easily do this job. The other thing that's kind of funny is, of course, all these fine parts out of China, there's no <laughs> instructions whatsoever. So a little bit of intuition and common sense will go a long way to help you with this job. So for now, though, I'm all set. We've got a big weekend event coming up. I'm feeling really confident that things are going to be okay. I will run it again tomorrow, probably an hour or so, just to make sure there's nothing that pops up later. But I think, we're, we, I think we got it. So hopefully this helps. Fix your smoker, get rid of that GFI problem, and you'll enjoy being out a lot more. I guarantee it. Take care now.